Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. Last time I showed you about obsidian and stuff like that, but I made a few mistakes other than calling things the wrong thing, which seems to be my regular habit. I forgot to put down the, the conduits, didn't I? Well, in fact, I used fluid ducts. So let's have a look at those. Uh, and what I also did, and another thing I changed, basically in here I've got Electrum. I've got seven blocks, oh well. Let's turn that on we'll get, and we'll get these melted. You'll notice that with this smart output, there's actually no time. It just does no setting time, it just goes straight through. So we're getting loads of this. And the reason I was making Electrum is that's the third level up. And I don't use two ingots of iron each time I make one of these, which is a good idea. So at the moment, I put those down with the reinforced servos and I turned this off. So I've put the redstone control here on and I just turned it off because when I turn this back on again it I got rather a lot of obsidian like three and a half well nearly four stacks of obsidian so I probably don't need any more for the time being um, but it might not be a bad idea I don't know because this tank is now full <laughs> and therefore we got lots of power which is good so the next thing I'm going to do is to carry on with what I was trying to do the end of the previous episode not the last one but the one before that so I think they're in here aren't they yes I've got these three millennium hammerheads and the use for that was to make a ore crusher two recipes for the same ore crusher so we need some redstone lamps which is what glowstone okay no big deal I think I have used all my redstone lamps up actually because I went to the mob farm and I tried to get those to work but I didn't have any success <laughs> I think I didn't put enough down I'll have a look at those in a while if you like because there is something else I should show you down there as well so right let's try that um, what do I want oh there's no recipes for drums in here which is really strange I was looking for recipes for drums and the only drums you get are those and, and attic utilities mind you this recipe now works that's good that was broken last time okay because i wanted to make ah uh, i'd like to make an iron drum or something like that but they're a bit expensive on iron at the moment so anyway let's have a look crusher this is the one i would like to make the ore crusher so we need a block of diamonds what else do we need redstone lamps we need two of those if I shift click this and I'll probably get about five but I don't want the others in there so I'll just move that out what else do we need I think that's everything oh seared stone do we have any seared stone nope we don't probably got the third stone in here did I not finish making that huh I must have done well anyway it's two blocks that's so basically like that I'll quickly go and cook this up actually because if, if I haven't and that's a mistake I'll turn that off because that'll probably be empty by now put those into there what did I do with the system? So you've got some electrum ingots. Very easy, one gold, one silver. And because I've got plenty of silver, and I've got plenty of gold for that matter. And I've got quite a lot of, well, I think I've got quite a lot of gold ore. But maybe it's not in there. Let's put those away. What did I do with those seared bricks? We've got four obsidian here as well. I don't even need that. Where where would they be? Oh, I can't find them. That's strange. Well, I should do something with all this XP I've got, shouldn't I? I don't know what I'm going to do, use it for. Oh, there is one more thing. Let's look at that. L for, le for levels. So I can increase some stuff. What have we got in here? Combat. What can I do? Random crits. I can increase this, do all the damage on for direct output. Five chance per level, so let's do that one. What can we do with this one? Increase that as well, and click done. 
And you have to remember to do that, otherwise if you press cancel it doesn't work. What have we got here? Wood cutting. Nah. I can do that one. Let's click done on that one. What else have we got in here? Sprint speed, let's increase that. Athletics, let's increase that. Decreases fall damage, that sounds like a good one to me. I'm done. And this one, flint harvesting. Well, it's not so important, is it? Let's cancel that. Now, if you cancel it, you would actually go, you'd lose your settings, so don't want to do that. Actually, what's this one? Treasure hunting. Prerequisite for, oh, maybe we do that one. Let's have a look again. Okay. Digging treasure from dirt. Well, I suppose that's not quite so important at the moment. But I think we have to wait a bit before that actually clicks in. I'm not exactly sure. Combat. Oh, I didn't finish combat, did I? We've got to melee damage. Random crits. Can't do anything with that one. No, I can't. I can't do any more updates at the moment. I can increase this one. I just can't do that one. As long as you click done, it stays. I think. Let's go back to combat. Stealth. This is a good one. This one decrease by sneaking decreases mob detection range. Minus five sight per level. So that basically means that they then you have to be near you before they actually start to do things. Ah, I've run out of levels, that's the reason why. Done. I'll turn that off. So that's nice. I like those. They're actually quite good, but obviously we've got to get reasonable level stuff before we do that. So hopefully these seared bricks are ready now. Wrong one. Indeed they are. Sue seared blocks. Actually, Bob the Big Bat gave me a tip about this as well. What I could have done here is I could have removed a faucet. I could probably and then pipe the output from here into back into into the uh, smeltery drain. So that's a really good tip. If you ever fill it up half full, you can pipe it out. In fact, what you can also do is you can actually attach a faucet to this, and you can use that as a as a sort of a, a hold like a tank sort of type thing. So that's a really good that's a really useful tip thanks very much by the way and Melek was giving me some tips as well he's got, told me to chisel ice so it doesn't melt i have to try that one out i haven't tried that out yet so right where are we ah the crusher should be able to complete that now fantastic or crusher tinker io now why is this important let's go and put it down Now I obviously need some power cable. Maybe I can just put it down here. And of course it's going to charge up. So then it's got some books and some stuff like that. I've got recipes? Yes, we've got recipes. So basically if we look at say iron, we should, oh it does it in all types of iron, that's good. I'm not sure if that's a redeem ore. Have I gone past it? Yeah, I don't think I have. There's quite a few recipes. Maybe I have gone past it. It's hard to see sometimes, isn't it? Tell you what, let's look the other way around. Crush cobalt. Yes. Raw ironwood materials. And I think to get this stuff here you have to do some uh, okay this is what we need to get this live live route to get this i don't know how to do it crushed or iron wood i thought i could get it from something else maybe i've just been confused pure metal crushed gold ah Maybe I've got this completely wrong. I don't know. I thought 
thought I needed it. I, like, I really wanted the live wood because of those bits and pieces. Live root, but I don't know where to get that from. Anyway, this will be another form of crushing, I guess. So, well, maybe I don't need it so much. <laughs> oh dear, spent all that time producing that thing. Don't need it so much. All right. So, next thing. Let's have a look at some of these quests because it's been a while. Well, we completed some by accident last time. I know what I want to do. I want to do industrial forging. And I want to create the manual for this. So I think I've got the stuff for the manuals in in this in this chest here. Or oh, crate. There's a couple of manuals I should make. Probably extra utilities. That might tell me how to do the to do the drums and things like that. So I think it's oh, there's a lot of stuff for this. Oh maybe I'll get some industrial forging isn't it there we go it's not so bad so it's a piece of paper with with a block of wood that's not so difficult yep so that's that one and the other one was um extra utilities wasn't it and they've got a manual as well i've seen that when i was looking stuff and i think that's where i was getting confused with the the quill and pen here we go so we need a oh just a book That'll do. Gold and obsidian. We won't have gold and obsidian. We'll have a book, all right. Take one gold out of there. Scroll down. Probably should have done that differently, shouldn't I? Got plenty of obsidian right down the bottom. Let's try that again. Fantastic. So this one this manual here tells you all about the machines there's not that much information about this but for example we've got generators so that tells you about the different types we've got a lava, lava fabricator when provided with a larger with a large amount of power well, when provided with a large amount of power it will produce lava okay so it actually isn't a, a generator oh it generates lava i suppose yes then the rest of these are, I think, petrified fuel. So this one produces power. Okay, not all fuel build the same, so that's not so, not so much useful information. That that tells you, and the rest one's just the recipe for it. So that's what you need to do for that. So it might be quite useful this money. Let's have a look at this one, because I haven't looked at this. Temporary gooey stand-in. I hope it's got some information on this. Oh, it has good. A lava mill, page 16. A resonator, fire mill. Angel blocks. Mechanical users. I'm just seeing if I can see into here. No, it doesn't tell me then, does it? So, page 16. Generates GP when placed next to the lava. This does not use up the lava. That's not very useful, is it? It doesn't tell you how much about how much it does it and how to put it down. Okay, so that was probably a waste of time. So I put those I'm putting the books in here anyway, so And there was another one I made, which is this one. Oh yeah, that's the the one with better with mods. That doesn't have everything, it doesn't have for example steel axles in there. Because I did a comparison between those, um, the two axles, they didn't produce any different speed in terms of grinding. So maybe I have to put the gearbox as well. I would imagine so. I haven't done that yet, have we? So look at these quests again. But maybe I've got enough to do some more of that one. Let's have a look. Better with mods. I'd like to complete this quest. We've got one of these three. So we just need some steel axles. I don't know whether I can do it or not. So I've got 42 ingots of soul forged steel. So let's have a look. Spell it right way. I always get those two mixed up. So that. So we need some gears. Okay, we could probably make the compactor. That would save an ingot. And these ingots are time consuming at the best. Let's see if we can make a compactor. 
it's fairly easy to make the upgrade. And what we do with the upgrades, we just click them, right click them on the machine. So where's the upgrade for that one? So this one. So piston, no problem. An iron gear, no problem. Lead plates, no problem. And a redstone servo, no problem. Let's make that one straight away. Then um, iron gear, that's four pieces of iron. And two lead plates, wasn't it? I think that's what we need. So let's come along here and I've got the bits and pieces. I should be starting to move these to the, as it is that one, hammerhead. That's another ingot mask. That's no, it must be already outside. Yeah, there's a plate cast and there's the gear cast. Let's take those out of there. Let's that's turned off. That's good. So let's put these two in here. They don't mix. I think we're safe with that one. So the first one we want in here is the gear cast. So it'll take a few minutes to do those, I guess. In fact, I could actually speed things up by make just by hammering these. Let's do that. I was going to show that show this because it just it doesn't cost any more material, so it doesn't really make much difference. Except for we put a bit of wear on the hammer, which is sort of it's used out of iron, so it's going to be a pain. <laughs> and we also need the upgrade. That's the invar upgrade. Hopefully, I don't need to make any invar. I might have some already in stock so let's have a look where's that one it's this one the hardened upgrade kit so we need four ingots of ink and we need a bronze gear okay bronze is copper and tin so i'll make some of that so i think it's three copper to one tin if my memory serves me correctly and Invar is iron and nickel, I think. Let's just look at it this way. So that's made in the, we can make that in the alloy furnace. So it's two iron to one nickel will produce three. So we need to double that. I don't know where I've got the Invar, let's just double check it. I thought it had at least one ingots worth of nickel. But I don't see it. That's steel from. That's the soul forger. I've got 44 now. Okay. So we're going to have to do it twice. So we need four ingots of iron and two nickels. And we can put that in the kiln, so that's good. Make sure it has a use, gets used a little bit. Oh, by the way, if you notice these ladders, they were just ordinary Minecraft ladders, but when I put them down, they got converted to something else, and I only picked up three ingots of iron. Right, I can get another one. They got converted to the primal core, and with the primal core ones, you don't need to um, have a backing to them. So they basically just got them like a, a bit like a rope ladder, but a bit more stable. And bronze, I think we can't make bronze in this. If we could, that wouldn't be too bad either. But we need to make a bronze gear. So that was done, those three iron. Actually, it goes fairly fast, this doesn't it? It's, I think it's faster than the smeltery. Just a little bit further apart, further away, good. Bronze, can we do bronze in here? Oh, we can look at that. And hopefully we get four ingots. Indeed we do, fantastic, great. Now we can smelt those four ingots, whether that saved any time or not, I don't know. Doing there like that because we better got to smelt them anyway. So in here we've got the gear cast, so we can right click that. We should get one iron gear. In fact, they do go fairly fast, that's good. And then we can right click this again, take our iron gear out of here. If we want to finish yet, will it? 
we go. And then we can take our bronze gear out of here, like that. Sort of great stuff. And of course, oh, that's bees all filled up again. <laughs> I'll do that in a minute. Wow, that gets filled up so fast now. And it's only that one. I think they're just seven blocks, aren't they? It's not even, not even a big one. Seven blocks of cursed earth seems to be doing most of that stuff. Let's try that. So now we have our upgrade. Fantastic. So the gear cast was, I think, the gear augment. We should be able to make as well. Oh, we're missing a piston. Okay, we've got one piston, stone and wood. <laughs> oh, I've got hardened upgrade. as a quest completed. Fantastic. And I wasn't even trying. Um, I've got invar gears and copper gears. Oh, no, no use anyway. So three pieces of wood and four pieces of cobble, which I have actually run out of in there, surprisingly enough. Oh, and I haven't harvested my flowers. One piston. Let's do that again from here. It's probably easier. Fantastic. So we need eight eight ingots of soul forged steel. What happened there? To make those two. Now what did I do with that machine? No, I don't remember. I think I moved it, but maybe I didn't. I'm keeping the machines in here, as you can see. And I actually got a made a stone drum. I think there is a recipe for stone drum, but it was the iron drum that wasn't a recipe for. Yeah, this is it, the compactor. And it's not got a connector on it. So what I'm going to do is to not break it. Right, we'll just put a connector on and get a connector. Hopefully I've got some connectors already made. You never know. Oh, I'm there. I've got some relays. If I haven't got any connectors that's going to be a bit of a pain. I don't think I can see any. I can see some copper. We only need one piece of wire. We're going to make sure, we'll, and we need four pieces of clay cooked up. That's that she can go fairly fast. Got plenty of clay in here. I think that's what will go. Uh, we can actually do a comparison. Where's the other one? Downstairs. By the time I get downstairs and back again, it'll probably finish, won't it? I should move this furnace. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that either. <laughs> I want to get just one, honestly. Right. It goes fast. And it doesn't matter, I've done some more. It certainly goes faster than the other one, doesn't it? Double click it. Got a freeze. Ah, well back up. So to make connectors it's fairly straightforward. Two there. <laughs> Didn't put to go into that. Three pieces of copper. Should make four connectors. That recipe I did actually remem remember. Where did that come out? Ah, probably because I clicked the thing. There should be enough power in this, shouldn't there? So let's get this let's get this connector onto that. Shift right click it by the way. So it doesn't uh and then we can connect this to the relay here. That one and that should now be getting lots of power. So now we can upgrade it. So what we do to upgrade this, we take the hardened upgrade kit and shift and right click on it. And it says block successfully upgraded. Now I should then be able to add a new augment. This one, fantastic. So this time we'll put in four pieces of soul forged steel and hopefully we get the gear coming out. Ah, no we haven't. 
What do I have to do to get that to work then? Do I have to go to a different one? Oh, it must be toggled to gear mode, storage, gear mode. Uh oh. Okay. So, let's go and, get, go and get another piece of salt for steel. It wouldn't be so bad if, if the plates had a use. I must be honest, they're in the other one. But it goes fairly fast. Anyway, when we got lots to do with these things, it's not so bad. Actually, let me just double check that. I wanted the axle, didn't I? Is that two per? Oh, that's two per, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to have to make another two gears. Let's do that. I, I knew I was being optimistic with just four pieces, eight pieces. Let's try that again. Wrong one. Again, the wrong one. One, two, three, four. I was just splitting those up. You know, when you shift left drag stuff, it just basically puts it across. And it doesn't matter, as long as the boxes aren't used, no big deal. So, so we now have our eight, four gears that we need for this. And we saved ourselves one ingot at the end of the day, but no, it's a shame. So we need lots of nuggets as well. I think I might have some nuggets already made, but we need, I think, ah, two. We'll try with two. It doesn't matter this much. At least with these, you can put them back in again. See, they disappeared. So now we've got the gears. I still can't do that in here, can I? I could do that in the other one. So, so far, you know, I've got 20, yeah, plenty of those. I need some more of these, that's a shame. I have to cut this one up. I think one piece of tan leather makes one band. So of course I have not got in there that cutter. Is it in here? No. Is it in the oh no, it might be in the yellow it might be in the golden bag of holding. That's the wrong one. This one. Now I should be able to simply cut this into pieces, shouldn't I? Yeah. Oh, we'll get. I'll leave it like that. I think it's only four pieces we need for a belt, doesn't it? Let's double check it. So that's all the recipe for this. Yeah. So I've got those four now. So we can then go and hopefully. Oh, that's a nice piece of lag. Come along here and shift click those into place. Great, we get our two axles. And that should complete the quest. F4, double check it. Ah, uh, maybe I have to go and consume now. Huh. Maybe I have to go and break this one. Because I should have actually done this one. I don't ask me why I didn't. It's probably when I break it, it's going to go into the hoppers. Oh, axe. That's very slow. Hopefully it's not going to break, is it? Nope, it is an axe. <laughs> and look at the, look at the, maybe this thing is so strong. Hopefully it doesn't break. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go back and I'll do a test world for that one, I think. See if I can actually break it. So in the meantime, I'm going to make another axle. And I'm probably going to take axles as the reward as well, because I saw the quest reward was, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we need two gears, don't we? These things are so expensive. It might not even work anyway, because I've got to craft it. I think it's a crafting task. So where was the other thing? I needed some leather. We needed four. Was it two belts? Yeah. 
Okay, well, while, while this is cooking up, we can go and do the belts. Because I'd quite like to get that one finished and also do the rest of it um, in here. Okay, so we can now do the belts. Oh, I didn't need to do all of that. All right. But there is one thing I've also found, and that was salt. Well, I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? There we go. I have found salt because one of the things you need sometimes I think you need some salted leather wrong place oh yes we need to make those up like, <laughs> it was the right place I just forgotten I hadn't made the belts up so that was right clicking divides things by two so now I should be able to do this. And sure enough, upgrade axle is now complete. Fantastic. Now if you look at the recipe for this, well, whether we need it or not, I don't really know, but let's, let's have a look at that quest again. See, three stove full. This one has required, per, has required absolutely stacks. One look, just, just forget about it. They're not that good. Whether I go for this, I don't know. I think we'll go for this because they are so expensive. Done. So the last one here was to make one steel gearbox. Let's have a look at that. Maybe we've got enough. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I've just wasted one ingot too many. I don't like this broken steel gearbox. So it's... <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-four ingots of sasa. I haven't got enough. Right. Well, I'll have to do that between episodes. In the meantime, I'm going to put, I can make four of these. I think. Soulful steel wouldn't actually be too bad as an armor either. So, um, take one off. I have to make four gears. Oh, we need more. There's a lot of stuff in that. I think I've already prepared the other bits, so that's not so bad. Let's put that into there. Ah, yes. In here, I was doing some work to keep this thing a bit clearer, and I think there's a better way of doing it than I've done it. So I've changed this to being a reinforced servo now. And here I've got the swords and things and like that. But the problem is, when you take something out of here, so for example, if I take this sword out of here like this, it's got ND MBT data, zero tags. As soon as you take it out, it's now got MBT data, two tags. And that's given me a problem. So what I want to do here is I've got a sleeve here. And the reason it's giving me a problem is this. And here I've got a, a filter. So the filter is saying at the moment, let's look at it. Basically, you're getting I've got MBT to ultra rare and stuff like this, and I don't need any of these. What I can do is just get rid of these two, and then ignore MBT data. But the trouble is, if there's any good in chance on these, then I lose them. But actually, to be honest with you, I don't really care that much. So let's have a look. Let's put this one back into here, and then turn this on off hey it filled it up with stuff that I didn't want it to so now it's filling it <laughs> I should have turned it off to start with shouldn't I let's right click double click this get rid of that stuff I didn't lose them because connected to this is another transfer node and this is they're always they've always got redstone active on these things and it's got state equals on so when this levers on these are off it's a bit reverse logic but so now I've got NWT data in here. So we don't care about the stuff that's in there, so like that. So I can put this into here, like, oh, if I can get space. 
into here like that and they'll get cleared out now some of this stuff is actually worthwhile keeping and that's the hard bit like here protection for uh, isn't brilliant but isn't actually bad because i think that's max protection so some of these gold helmets and things like that if we can get rid of uh, the enchants on here and put those on something stronger we'd have really good really good uh, armor see i've actually even managed to get some diamond helmets and some diamond legs and jam diamond chest plates all enchanted and i think you can probably repair those i'm not exactly sure how but let's put this in fact what i should do is to get rid of these i've got no uses for them at all except for let's just put those in let's put those into here like this so everything in here is now enchanted that's good you see it's got knockback two sharpness four so that sword's actually a pretty good sword and this one here is bane looting one and this one how about this bane of anthropods five i'm breaking three knockback two and insight three really and rather a good sword so what we can then do of course is then come along and say okay don't care about that so much just turn this one on they all get pumped straight into there. In fact, you could turn it off. It won't be safe. And everything in there is going to get thrown away. So what I can do the same thing for multi-jump three. See? That's a good helmet. Look at that. Protection four and breaking three. Or well, bows I don't really care about. Let's, let's do the bows as well. Turn that off. Take this out. State is off. State is on. <laughs> I've just done. Oh, it's empty anyway. Yeah, that's okay. So what we can now do is take the filter. I've got to be careful doing this. Probably should put a redstone lamp beside it, then you see it better whether it was on or off. Or some other light. So let's have a look. Bows. I don't want bows, do I? So let's get rid of those bows. Let's put the filter back into here and then turn it on again so we should see stuff coming into in fact let's put these items into this you see what I was doing there I was doing control shift click and the bow is here so they did disappear out of that so that's good so that's what we're left with so then we have to decide what we, if we've got any use for these items well multi jump boots one I could probably use those now I'm not sure we've got any uses for these basically we could make diamond leggings with these, but maybe I have to put those 100%. These things are quite tricky to make, because to make those, you've got to use cut leather. It's not the standard recipes are all gone. Woven cotton, okay, that's no big deal, I think. Funny that three makes three, just pieces of string. So maybe we don't need any of these. It's interesting, that's actually a thing. And then you can enchant them, of course. So there we are, we've got some stuff in there. Turn it on. Goodbye, junk. So that'll then filter this, keep this thing filtered a bit better. So I've got to find a way to deal with these arcane scrolls and stuff like that. What I could do is to create a second filter and put it in here and then just filter out the stuff that I really want to get rid of and then take the other stuff out of that put it in one of these chests but the arcane scrolls are keeping up here whether they're useful or not i don't know do control shift click on those i think i'll probably get rid of the leather armor but i won't do it straight away in fact there was also some skeleton skulls in that they go in here how many it was 70 last time i looked at this how many have you got there now 92 Wow, <laughs> and that is just in, well, since I basically stopped and started this game, which wasn't very long between the two episodes, about 10 minutes or 15 minutes of play, which is not a lot at all. I wanted to put those away, didn't I? Yes, these arcane scrolls I don't know about, but there is another tip I would like to complete do before we finish this episode today and that's another tip from uh, 
Malacqua. What Malacqua told me to do is to create a soul sh shard. And that's not so obvious to do. There's no recipes for it. And the book doesn't tell anything about it either. But you need a diamond. We need four pieces of obsidian. And we need four uh, blocks of nether quartz. I forgot enough nether quartz for four blocks. Got enough just. No, two. I need four. Let's get the other two. I should have plenty in here. I'm running out of this is what I want to do the some of these um, crushers find out which is the best one. I think the best one is probably the applied uh, natural additions one. So we need wrong one. One, two. That'll give that. So we've got four obsidian. That will do. We'll put that back in there. I don't need that. Okay, that one, that one, and a diamond. And we need a block of glowstone. Let's go and try this. I've never done it. It's my very, very first time. I haven't even tested it. I just watched a, an animated GIF about it. So hopefully that is enough. So we put down the glowstone first to get rid of that. And that becomes the middle block. And then on the corners we put down obsidian. So therefore on the faces we put that. I don't think it matters the order. We'll put it down like this. The video did it like this. Did the corners first, just double check it. And then all you do, if I've got this right, you right click this with a diamond. And you get a little shard. Like this. Oh, and I've got a quest completed. What did we get? Soul shard, what a surprise. This one then basically will take, when you kill a, a, a mob, and that's one thing I'd like to go. Oh, got lots of quests completed. I don't see how I've completed Soul Cage. I haven't done anything with that yet. It takes on the death of the first mob. Oh, it's had some problems with the uh, Endermen <laughs> being a pain. I'm basically pulling the blocks out of there. So what I did is I went all the way around here like this. Oh, and this is where I put the lights. Uh, I haven't got enough because they're all turned on, but the mobs are still spawning. Well, that's okay. If it reduces the mob spawns at the moment, I don't really mind. And the Endermen were taking the, the blocks out of there. So it wasn't working so well. There's quite a few mobs around them, moment. Where's my pickaxe? I would actually prefer to use this one. So what I'm going to do, I've got choices here. I'm hoping to see an Enderman. Oh yes, that's what I did. I, just, I don't know whether this works, and it's probably a bit daft, but I put um, a mob crusher, a mob masher. Get it right this time. Well done, that man. A mob masher. Nothing in it, I don't think. But on top of it, I put an, uh, an ender tether. I wasn't sure whether that would work or not, but it seems to work. So with a bit of luck, Let's put, some, let's put some protection down here. This is what I don't know whether it's going to be good or not. Actually, that purple, there's a purple pigman over there that would actually not be too bad. Can I hit him? And it wind him up a bit. No, I think I can't. There aren't very many mobs around. Bit of a shame. Have I got a bow with me? I don't think I keep a bow with me these days. Oh, well, there's another one over there. These black ones. They are... Oh, look, that's the Enderman. So I press shift here and look at them. Oh, I don't think they're actually going to jump to me. Oh, maybe he will. I'm looking at them, pressing... Oh, there's, there's a zombie pigman. I wanted him. I want to test my theory out. Oh, there's something down there. What's that? Is that another zombie pigman? Okay. I probably should repair these before I start taking on blight zombie pigman, shouldn't I? 
The worst things are the magic ones. The, bla the, the blights aren't so bad, they're more predictable. Um, something is coming, probably an ember. Okay, what I'm going to do, I should have wanted to put down some spikes and I haven't brought them with me. I put everything away. <laughs> he disappeared fast. Oh, there's one of those over there. Don't care about him, he's, he's harmless. Where's that pigment? Oh, maybe not. That's a magical one. Where is that one? So I can get a zombie pigment. I know what I need to do. I need to repair my weapons, didn't I? Let's get out of here these. And let's shoot that zombie pigment if I can. I think it's too far away. Put that block in there because they can't get to me when they're here. Which is rather nice. I just don't see any. That's so annoying. You want a mob and you can't see any. Let's just knock this block away here. Tell you what I should do. I probably should just pause, shouldn't I? Until I see one that actually is useful. Oh, there's an, there's an ember coming. Oh well, probably means I'll have to improve my torch, uh, my sh my sword a little bit. Where is he? If you press shift, by the way. Oh, yeah. so that I think has now taken on this one. Oh no, I don't know whether you have to kill him with this as well. Actually, that's the other thing. Oh, there's a bomby pigment. If I can get him. Yeah, I got him. Good. Can you not get to me? There's an enderman. Let's see if we can track this enderman. I'm holding shift. He's not looking at me. Typical, isn't he? Oh, I saw him just drop a an infinity booster card. Well, that's a bit boring. Oh, hello, you. Right, I can see you now. So I'm gonna hit you. If I hit you with this. What happens? Okay, sneak attack damage 1.3. Okay, that was uh, good. So now it's basically gonna do pigment, isn't it? But he can't get up high enough. Zero kills. Right, we can improve our thing here. Oh, I can eat as well. While I'm attacking this pigment. Oh, a ghast. I don't want to be near that one. Let's get out of the way. A blight ghast. Uh, not much use, to be honest with you, because you can't deal with them at all. While I'm here, let's just repair this, because it was completely empty. What level is it now? 38 of 2,000 accustomed, and it should have a modifier. Great. Yeah. As long as the dumb pigment doesn't come from behind, I'm alright. Let's we'll just be absolutely safe. Put down one of those, and he can't get through. Oh, hello. Got two of you now. Ow. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Alright, one. I 
So funny. <laughs> I'm concentrating a bit. I should have put myself up. I shouldn't. I did a big wall with me. How did I not? I didn't make another one since last time, did I? Oh, yes, he's still there. for the slaughter. Can't see them. Whatever they're dropping don't care about anyway. If you press shift, this this thing doesn't uh, you can't see me. Yep, you can just see him there, look. He doesn't see me when I'm pressing shift. If I take the shift off, he'll see me again. So that's it. basically my demonstration of this. Let's get my sword in. I think we'll upgrade the sword a bit. I could probably do this one. Just have to wait for the ember to come over the hill there. Actually, I can't see on the map mini map because I've got the too many markers. I should be able to turn those markers off. Where's he gone to? Oh, there you are. Missed him. All right, well, there we are. So. That, oh look, you can see what's been dropped. <laughs> so that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, so next time, definitely going to be doing actual editions. So until then, bye for now.